All right, by popular demand, um, I'm going to do some no more difference quotient problems. I have two different ones that I'm going to do. Um, this one is dealing with a cubic function. So um, mainly these, I have another tutorial or a lesson going through difference quotient, but in these two, um, it's a little bit, sometimes can be a little bit harder algebra, but hopefully you'll find it being fascinating and interesting. All right, so first off, I'm going to talk about this difference quotient. Um, we're going to you actually not this difference. This is the difference quotient. <laughs> this is the function we're using. So we're going to first find what is f of x plus c. So um, I'm going to write out f of x plus c, and we're going to then substitute that into each one of the values because this is my input. So I'm going to put it in here and here. Um, so we have x plus c cubed minus x plus c plus one. All right, from here, I'm going to simplify this expression to make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to actually square this out. Now, this is where the bad algebra comes in. Mm, bad. But we're going to take x plus c times x plus c. There is a faster, more efficient way of doing this. But if you forget this, um, this one also will work as well. So we can take x squared. Well, these two first. x squared plus 2xc plus... Uh, what do we have here? C squared, and that quantity is going to be now multiplied by x plus c. All right, well now I'm going to take x cubed plus 2x squared c plus c squared x, and then we have plus x squared c plus 2xc squared, and then finally plus c cubed. Awesome. In all of that, I'm not going to forget this section right here. I'm going to take that then, and then minus x minus c plus 1. All right, so we'll try to simplify all this crazy stuff. Um, x cubed, I got all of this. I have an x squared plus c and one more. So we have plus 3x squared c's. And then we have this one right here. So we have three of those as well. We can go xc squared. We have one of these plus c squared cubed minus x minus c plus one. All right, cool. So that is our first step. Can we combine anything? No, we can't. All right, so that are, is our first value. So take that and we're going to subtract that from f of x. f of x. So I'm going to write out this expression right away. This is my f of x plus c. See if I can move that. Oh, man, move all this over here. Uh, that worked out pretty snazzy. Okay, so I'm going to write this in a different color. Okay, this is our first one, which is f of x plus c. And now I'm going to subtract f of x. Well, f of x we know is x cubed minus x plus 1. Now, to save us a little time in the little room, I'm going to actually distribute this negative 1 through. So what we'll have then is the opposite of that, negative x cubed plus x minus 1. And all over, right here, is going to be all over c. Because if you recall, moving back and forth, this c right here is what we're dividing by. Okay. So now, we'll take my handy dandy cancellation red pen right here, <laughs> and we'll start canceling some things out. We notice we have an x cubed to cancel out. We notice we can cancel this one out, and we also have here. Now, I always like to say one of these things is just like the other. What can I factor out? Well, if you notice, we have a C in each one of the remaining terms. So I can rewrite this expression as I factor out a C. I have 3x squared. I have a 3x and a C right here. Um, I have a C squared, and I have a minus 1. You know what over C? What you notice then is since we factor out, we could factor out a c in each one of the remaining terms, this c and this bottom c will cancel out, and we're left with this expression, which is remaining right here. Awesome, huh? Well, you can stop if this is what you're looking for and move on, or we're going to keep on going. I'm going to do one more problem, and it deals with this one right here. Um, we're given g of x, which equals x to the 2 thirds power plus 1. We have our difference quotient, which is g of x minus g of 8 over x minus 8. And that's x going to equal, or can equal 8, obviously, because if you put that in there, you get 0 in the denominator, which is crazy. 
So, here we go. Let's figure this one out. Well, we're going to use a little substitution. Um, using this difference quotient, I'm assuming we're going to have d of x, which is x to the 2 thirds plus 1. That is my g of x. Minus g of 8, well, that g of 8 is going to be 8 to the 2 thirds power plus 1 right here. All of that over x to the minus 8. Okay, so from here, we can distribute this stuff through and simplify it a little bit. Let's see how this all works out. We have x to the 2 thirds, which just so you know is actually x squared and then we're taking the 1 half power or the cube root of that. So I'm just going to have that right there. Um, we have the plus 1 right here. If we take the cube root of 8, because we can take the cube root of that and we'll simplify it, and that's 2. 2 squared is 4. Be minus 4 plus 1. Okay. And that is all over x minus 8. And going a little bit farther, um, what do we have? We notice that, oops, I just screwed up. I just screwed this negative through right here. Hopefully you caught that. If you didn't, shame on you. All right, we're going to go minus 1. I'm going to change the color just so it is it nice and pretty like. And what do we have here? Once we simplify, um, I'm just going to make this back to what it was before. x to the 2 thirds. This and this will cancel out. Minus 4 all over x minus 8. All right. Well, that is where we're at. I don't know if they can be simplified any farther. Um, maybe, maybe not. But um, since it's all asking us to do is use this different quotient and write it out, we did that. And uh, let's plug in 8. It will simply cancel out. So um, we can leave it like so. Or we can try simplifying a little bit farther if we so choose. All right. But that's how you would use a different portion on that in case. All right. So those are two of our answers. Um, going through two different problems of how to set those up and solve. And uh, there we go. All right. Enjoy.